All right, hi guys. Um, today I've got a Samsung S7 and it has a cracked back screen. And in addition to that, the charge port's no longer working. Um, I haven't got the screen yet in the mail, but I, um, I'm gonna take it off today anyway. And if I get time before the kids wake up from their nap, I'll be replacing this charge port. I got a new toy, you might notice. It's pretty cool. Let's see if I can show you just how filthy that charge port is. And it looks even like it's a little bit bent. There we go. Yeah, it hasn't been working for a while. This is just a junk phone that I had around the house. And to charge it, we've just been using the wireless charger. But I got this heat mat off of eBay and I'm going to try and take the back off the phone. So first of all, we just turn it on. Uh, you can't see the screen there, but it says it's gonna heat up to 60 degrees for five minutes. And we'll see if we can't get some leverage off the back. Let's give it a try. Alrighty, so put the suction cap on. Yep, a bit more. There we go. Got it in there a little bit. So I'm putting a little bit of pressure, but not too much. Uh, feel the resistance. I don't actually know what's back there, so hopefully it's all right. I wouldn't expect much to be connected to the back cover, especially around the bottom. But you know, I've been wrong before. Okay. Well. Well, that beeping is the heat mat turning itself off because it's been five minutes. I took it off a little bit early because I'm not the most patient person in the world. So I'm actually following a little bit of safety advice in uh, cut away from yourself. So I'm not pulling it towards me. I'm pushing it away from me. Not that it's sharp, but even, even blunt things can hurt. Oh, I accidentally turned the phone on by pushing that button on the side. Alrighty. Look at that. We got it open. First try. Nice. All right, I've uh, damaged the tape here. But it doesn't look like I've hurt. Hopefully I haven't hurt anything in there. I don't know what that is. There's a lot of screws here. Oh, that's cool. All right. I'm just gonna spend some time taking the, the glue off as much as I can, just scrape it off. I'll go in with maybe, I might go in with a solvent later to know how to get to the battery. So this is the wireless charging coil right there. That's how I've been charging the phone. The battery's underneath. So I'm gonna to have to take these screws out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 
maybe 12 screws. All right, I'll be back once I've cleaned this up and taken those screws out. All right, we're back. And I can tell you already that I have damaged the screen. I've got this pink line now that I'm pretty sure was not there before. But that's okay, we're gonna keep going. So I've taken the screws out and now I've got to figure out how to lift all this up. A piece of tape here. Okay. Cool. Very interesting. So it just presses onto some contacts. It's not a connected cable. Like it's not clamped down in any way. I need to, well, this looks like the battery. So let's just double check. It doesn't go anywhere else. All right, that's the battery there. Let's grab a tool to take that off with because my fingers are huge there we go my fingers aren't actually huge guys not but uh, compared to these things they are so now the phone should have no power doesn't matter if I hold the button or not now we are working more safely <coughs> excuse me I I'm actually just recovering from a flu it's um yeah okay so it's pretty interesting I think I can see a problem already let's have a look at the new one yeah yeah all right let's see if I can show you under the microscope move my chair back Um, where is it? Here. Right there. That doesn't look right. I mean, it doesn't move, but there it is. There's a, what's that doing? It's been pushed, it's been pushed out, hasn't it? Like these ones are all in and that one's, that one's not in. And I just broke it there. It doesn't matter because we're going to replace it. But that's really odd, isn't it? So that pin's been pushed out, I think. If we go back and have a look underneath, inside, if we can tell there, Yeah, that one, that pin, that pin there, there, 
There we go. I've got it out for us. That pin there. That one. Where'd it go? I can't actually see it. Oh, see, it's so small. There. That was the pin that meant that he couldn't charge. How interesting and disgusting in there. All right, cool. Um, okay, there's some more screws here. Three, three screws. One, two, three. One. Two, three. Uh, what? What cable? Blue cable. There we go. And then it's like this guy. The headphone jack is not actually part of the ribbon that we have to be worried about. Hmm. Don't have to worry about that thing. I have to take the whole board out just to get at this thing properly. Whole camera pops out, that's cool. Alright, pop him over here. Any more things gonna just jump out at me? I feel like there's something still connected, but I can't see anything. Oh, okay. It's the SIM card tray. Take the SIM card tray out first. Um, so that's the motherboard. My camera's battery is about to die as we can see on screen there So I'm not sure how much further I'm gonna get today But this is the flex that we need to change Though I don't Really want to change it. What I really want to do is just resolder a new one of these ports on because this flex goes behind here into the screen for these two for these two um, touch controls and that requires getting the front screen off which will almost certainly kill my screen with my current tools so I was hoping we could just lift it just enough
All right, the battery is about to die. I've got to go. I will catch you in the next video where I work out how to get this out and see if we can resolder it. Bye for now. Okay, back again. So it's now this evening and we're going to try to remove the headphone jack and move this out of the way enough that I can hopefully solder the connection off with the hot air or the soldering iron, I'm not sure yet. And the same with this. And then swap them over and cross our fingers and hope for the best. But I have some good news, that pink line that was on the screen that was running along here, I didn't do that. My husband told me that it was already there. And I've looked up a couple of videos and hopefully we can actually fix that uh, through software. All right, so let's let's do this thing. So I'm pretty sure this headphone jack should just pop out if we can get the right leverage point on it. There we go. So I just pop that out with my fingernail just under the top bit there on the opposite side to the flex. Um, okay, yeah, cool. So if we just gently because as I was saying before, this part of the flex goes in and around, around to the front. And same on this side, in and around to the front, where there's sensor buttons next to the home button. And I don't think I'm going to be able to remove the screen with my current tool set. Um, from what I've seen, the best way to remove the screen is with a nitro liquid nitrogen freezer and they are well out of my budget all right so i think i want to be able to solder and i'm going to need like a heat shield so let's cowboy it up over here put this under there this is just a large piece of metal that uh, hopefully can protect the rest of the phone from the heat particularly the battery heat sink okay I'm going to bring the microscope over. Bum, 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 bum. Over here, turn the light on. And swap to microscope view. Alright, what do we got? There we go. A nice view there. So I'm wondering if I add flux to that, I might be able to use the heat gun on it. Do I need to add some solder to it first? Let's turn the soldering station on. Okay. What tip have I got on here? I have a very small tip. But we'll make it work. It's already heating up. Let's put some. It's my first time working under the microscope, so it should be fun. Put some flux here. Flux there. Doesn't matter if we get it inside this one, we just gotta get it not inside the replacement one. We'll see how it goes. Um, solder. Tiny solder or big solder? Tiny solder. <coughs> Excuse me, I am still recovering. What's this? So this is 360. Really would prefer a bigger tip for this sort of stuff. All I'm managing to do is make giant solder blobs. That's clever.
Yeah, no, that's not going to work. Right, my soldering tip's not heating up the way I would expect it to. Let me just turn it up a little bit and see if we can bypass that. Otherwise, I'm going to have to change the tip, which is probably the better advice. Tweezers. Yeah, this isn't working. There's something strange about it. Pump it up to 380, see what happens. This is the fun about experimenting, you know. We can learn, we can break, we can fix. Maybe some more flux. What I'm trying to do is actually just add some solder to these pins. Nothing special. I don't need it to look nice. No, I think I just got I got the wrong tip on this iron for sure. All right. I'm used to using a much bigger tip. That's not going to work for me. I get the hot air gun. If I need to clamp the board down. We did it. We removed it. All right. <coughs> Unreal. All right. So, hot air gun's cooling down. My children just went to bed, and they were not settling. And my youngest, he's one, and he had a bottle before bed, and apparently he's just guzzled down a whole nother bottle. Ugh, this is cool enough yet. Yeah.
So I'm going to change the tip on this iron to something a bit bigger. giant tip. And we are going to clean the solder off this board. Big fat solder out now. Look at this thing to heat up. It's always tin the tip and then clean the tip. Hmm, a lot of solder on there. Alright, I think that's probably as good as I'm going to get on there for now. Well, it's not perfect, but you know, we're learning. Alright, now this dude. I'm going to get something to help me hold him down or up as the case may be. See if we can do the same tricky with this dude.
Got him. Cool. Alrighty. Get this guy out of the way. Do not touch parts you've just removed. They are very hot. Where's the old one? Where did I put that? Good question. Where did I put that? Hmm. There it is. You can see here on the old one, this was that pin that I'm talking about. And here on the new one, so it's definitely not sticking out on that new one. So this pin actually goes down there, but it wasn't down there anymore. It had fallen off the board. Wow, so it had lifted from the board. Leverage, I assume, from the inside. And then you can see the missing pin. It's cooled down a bit now. Excellent. Alrighty. Oh, thank you. Welcome. Can you take out? Uh, no thanks. Is it yeah, she's fine. Houston, we have a problem. I have accidentally, in the process, removed this little dude. Okay. Let's try and fix that first. Okay. That's going to be painful. What is he anyway? Alright, so the circle I assume goes on the circle. So Yeah, like that. Oh, come on. My left hand. Maybe I should use my right hand. I just need him to be in place first. Right. Left hand is where it's at. Okay. Hopefully I didn't damage him. Didn't even know he fell off. I thought I never got anything else falling off. I don't think so. Turn my air down a little and see if we can just get him to stay on there.
Oh god. I feel for sure I've damaged whatever that thing is. Alright, he's not stuck on for a start. Okay, little dude. Okay, he was still warm. Okay. What is he for? My goodness. Put the heat gun away. All right. Little locator pins will help me. Let me turn this so I can see the pins when they melt. Try not to blow that guy off the board again. There you go. So that's tacked on. different tip because that's not going to reach in there and I've got to let my soldering iron cool down. This side could be a little lower.
isn't it? Okay. See if we can see under there. Hmm. Pull my chair back. Come back this way. I want to see if I've damaged the back. I don't think I have. I think it looks. Soft, but not melted. Let's go to the back of the other one. Maybe. Who knows? So it definitely could be down further. Some of those pins aren't touching. I might be able to just get the soldering iron in there. See what tip can we get away with? Yeah. I think this one.
Now I've got way too much solder on there. I'm just trying to use the soldering iron to take some of it away. Able to see through the flux. I don't know how professionals do this stuff. This is a very tricky repair. I think there's a short here. There we go. Hopefully I haven't damaged this connector. I might have. Micro soldering is hard work. All right. I cool down for a second and then grab my alcohol again. And give it a bit of a clean. Let's see if I can focus on that connector. I'm not sure I might have. I don't know, it looks okay.
I really think I've damaged whatever that is. No clue what that is. Where's the light control? Alright, this last one's not making connection still. It's got a big bridge to gap. Just that last one. Move this whole thing that way a little. There we go. to give it a clean to see. I don't know how these other people can see through the flux. I can't. I'm going to say no. Now I've got another bridge. Well, I'm going to say that's connected now, at least. I'm going to say it's not the prettiest job. But hopefully it's functional enough. Okay, more cleaning. More cleaning. Um,
years from now I'm going to look back at this and just cringe at how horrible it was. But right now, I'm just hoping it works. Oh, excuse my sniffing. What is that stuff? All right, that's not that's not flux. That's like a glue of some sort. are a bit dry okay let's just double check that we've got all the things there I can't believe I ripped that dude off so I've got a spare here if he doesn't work I guess Could heat him up from the bottom. Alrighty, have we got everything there? Yes, yes. Yep. Okay. Could be better. He's still there. Yep. Okay, good. All right, all the rest of our parts are there. Oh, okay. Now let's brave reassembly, I guess. A bit more cleaning, it's still a bit sticky. And pop that over there. So now I'm just going to try and pop it all back into place. Oh, excuse the sniffing guys, I'm so sorry, I've got a cold, a flu or something and I think the worst of it is over, but now I'm just a I'm just a snotty mess. Okay. Um this we need the headphone jack. Which is also just absolutely filthy. But I don't really tend to use the headphone jack. Oh, my cat wants to get out of the room. Hang on, I was gonna let the cat out. Back again. Okay, so we just got that one in, and then now we get to test out this, this 
in actual fact. Let's just bring this back in. Back in here. Let's see if we can use some vision to help us. Plug that dude in. Is he in though? How do you know? These plugs are so vague. Alright, I guess he's in. Doesn't instantly pop out if I leverage it. Okay. Oh. What else do we have here? The logic board. So this actually plugs in, this board plugs into the bottom of the main logic board. Excuse me while I try and line this one up. Okay, I'm sure you got a lovely view of my head just then. And then we'll slot this guy in. Try not to crumple any of these ribbon cables with connectors. What else are we missing? Stuff up the top. This one. Come on. It's actually really hard to get all these connectors to be above the board all at the same time there we go oh, we lost this one again managed to get all the top ones and this bottom one disappeared alrighty Alright, that's the logic board in place. Let's start doing all the connectors up. There's one here for the up and down buttons. We've got some sort of cameras up the top here. We're not going to plug the battery in just yet. We're going to plug in everything else first. That one there, this one here, that one down there and then these guys went through this channel down this channel and then he's Do they go through here? There's a little, there's a little circle down there. There we go, this little dude. mostly just by feel guys like I can't really see what I'm doing the parts are so small right. there that felt right okay OK, 
Paper really needs to be under the logic board before the logic board goes in. Remember that next time. Let's see if I can show you the problem I'm having. This white cable needs to go under there. There we go. And I need not to damage it, but it has to be pushed down. Okay. And then this guy is all over here. He's in too. Okay. All right, I'm getting there. Now there's a whole bunch of, there's a couple of screws. Where's my screwdriver? I'm so organized today, huh? Let's take a drink. Mm. Okay. Don't need cutting tool. Need a screwdriver. There he is. These ones. one now I put these screws aside in a pattern so that I would know which screw went into which hole two Three. Okay. Now, we have these black bits and pieces. And one of them. No, none of them. Okay, cool. Now we can plug the battery in. Oh, no, there's one more part. Here, look, the camera. Pop that in there. I mean, do they just pop back in? Is this little dude in the way? Is he in the wrong spot? We'll push the battery in. This is what I did in, in reverse. So the battery was in. Then put the top piece in. There we 
go. Things are snapping into place. There we go. Oh. And All right. Now, for the rest of the screws. These ones were at the top. These two were near the camera. These ones went down the side. They all look to be the same length to me, but sometimes a really small difference makes a big difference so I just tried to keep them in order Before we do that up, just clip that in a bit better. There we go. Okay, test number one. Will the phone turn back on? Excellent. Oh, look at that. Those buttons still work. That's good. Home button still works, that's good. This one. And what was it? Star hash zero star hash. Star hash zero star hash. And then we go and push red, green, and blue. Oh, it's not working for me. Red, green, blue. There's a lot of things in here. Oh, 
Anyway, the important thing is I didn't cause that pink line. Alrighty, let's do this. This in here. Moment of truth. Oh, it's charging. 28% charging. Well, I don't have a fast charge cable, so I can't test that right now, but that is 100% better than it was. Alright, we did it. It was messy, it was hard, but we did it. 9 pm, Friday the 3rd of July, I fixed. A Samsung S7 charge port. We took the back off and we unsoldered some parts and we put it back together and it's working. 29%. Sweet. And the screen still works, the touch is still good. This pink line was always there. Uh, the buttons are still working. Beautiful. Let's just watch it climb up one more percent and call it a night. Let's see how it goes. Oh, I'm so proud of myself right now. Let's take a sip of a victory sip. Oh, how long does a percent take on a slow charge? That battery is glued in, by the way. It's, I tried to get it out, but it was threatening to bend and I didn't really want to bend it. There we go, 30%. It is absolutely charging in a positive way. All right, guys. Well, thank you for hanging out with me. And I probably won't make a video of putting the new back on, but I'm sure I will show it off on Twitter when it is nice and shiny and beautiful. Alrighty, so until next time, ciao!